Hey guys, Molly here. Today I wanted to share with you how to create an Instagram reel. Now maybe some of you have never created an Instagram reel before. Maybe some of you have created a TikTok but not a reel. Or maybe you have created a reel uh, but you may want to learn some tips and tricks to make it easier to make better reels. Uh, a little bit about that. So first things first, why should you create Instagram reels? Well, the biggest thing right now is if you care at all about building an organic following, uh, if you care about getting you know followers for free, getting eyeballs on your content for free, Reels is a really great way to do that. So since it's a new feature, Instagram is giving more uh, reach and push to their Instagram Reels over the Instagram feed, even over Instagram stories. So uh, I know for me personally, my reels are getting somewhere between 20 and 30 times the amount of reach as an Instagram feed post. So that's a really great way to do it. So simply put, if you're looking for more eyeballs on your content, if you're looking for more followers, this is a great way for you to share value with your following uh, and also let them get to know your personality and style a bit as well. So today I'm actually going to share my phone and I'm gonna take you step by step through my favorite tips and tricks and how to create really fun, engaging Instagram reels that people are going to want to watch. So let's dive in. All right, first I gotta open the phone. <laughs> okay, so this is my Instagram, uh, well, let's see, here's my Instagram profile, all right? Uh, let's go back here. So the first thing you wanna do is you want to click on this little house icon, and then you can either swipe to the left, <laughs> or you can hit this camera button up at the top left here. Bad angle, good angle. <laughs> okay, so once you are in the, I don't know what they call it, the editor. So this is where you can create stories. Um, and you'll see down here at the bottom, you can swipe to go uh, live on Instagram. Or in the middle, you can do a story. Uh, or if you go on the bottom, see right at the bottom here is where I'm going, uh, you can also switch over to Reels. So that is what we are going to focus on today. So who is excited to make their first Instagram Reel? <laughs> I'm stoked. So uh, first thing you want to do before you actually go ahead and make your uh, Reel is what I like to do is right on the bottom, you'll see the house, the reels icon, the plus sign, the heart, and then uh, in the right will be where you'll go for your profile. So I actually want you to click on the reels icon. So this is where you can see all the different reels. Okay, so what I like to do is first I like to go through and find reels that inspire me. So I'll go through and watch some of these reels. Maybe I'll like the compilation, maybe I'll like the idea, maybe I'll like the song. Uh, there will be different things that I like about it. So let's say that I find one that I like. Uh, then what you can click on, the three dots here. So there's the heart, the comment bubble, the mail sending symbol, and then right, and then there's the reels icon. Right above that, there's three dots. And if you click that, you'll see an option to save. Okay, so I've already done this. So go to your home. Uh, let's see, no, go to your profile. I just, okay, go to your profile. Then there's three lines in the top right. Click that and click on saved. This is gonna show you all the content that you've saved. Uh, you can organize it in categories, but I haven't done that. So anyways, uh, this will show you all the reels that you have saved. And so these are just different reels that I liked. Maybe it was based on the song or again, the type of content that they did. Um, so these are all the ones that I've saved. So there's actually one that I made today. So I figured I would show you guys that one. So this one, let's see. Yeah, I don't think you can hear the sound of it, but basically when you, you can click on the reels icon in the video and it will make it bigger. And this one, it's using the song I'm a Maniac. So it starts out with -na 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 -na, like it's this different beat, right? And so it shows this dog and it's like tap your paw, then tap with your tail, <laughs> tap with your ear. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, let's see here. Then it's like tap with both your paws and then now act cool. Okay, so I really liked this one and I wanted to make some personal content about my dog. So today I made this one. Step one, tap paw. Step two, wiggle butt. <laughs> Step three, shake head. <laughs> Step four, be unsure about sunglasses. And step five, be cool. So now I'm going to show you guys how to create that. So again, um, you're going to swipe to go here. So again, you can either swipe to the left or click this camera symbol in the top left. Then you're going to click on Reels. And here is where you can select the top here. You can select length. You can do either 15 seconds or 30 seconds. I highly recommend that you start out just with doing 15 seconds because remember, we always like to start with baby steps. If you haven't been able to master 30 seconds yet, then you should start with 15. And if you haven't even done a reel before, you should definitely do 15. Then here's where you would select the song. They have all types of music on here. So again, the reel that I found, it used the music uh, Maniac. So the cool thing is, Here's another tip for you. So let me go back to the saved one that I liked. Sometimes it's easier to find music this way. So this is a saved video that I liked. And right here it'll show I'm a maniac. So if I click on that music, it'll actually let me just click to use this audio. And now it's already... I don't know why it flipped my camera. <laughs> but it already has the audio selected. And then I'm going to select 15 seconds. Um, you can speed up the video if you want to. You can add like different effects if you want to. Oh, <laughs> um, but we're just, oops. <laughs> we're just going to use the regular, um, we're not going to do any effects or anything like that. Um, and then you can also do the timer, but uh, we don't need to do that. So again, what I ended up making was the end result that I showed you guys. But so what you want to do now, the cool thing is this in the bottom middle, you can see the little white circle with the reels icon on it, right? So you can actually tap this with you don't have to hold it down the whole time while you film, or you can hold it down. The cool thing is that you can film little sections. So you don't actually have to go and edit it. So let me show you an example. I'm going to hold this down. Okay, now I can stop and then I can hit it again. Okay, and then I can do another clip like. I'll just keep going and show you guys the end result here. Now you can select in the top right corner the text, and here's the cool part. So for the dog one that I'm showing you guys, you can say here, um, let's see, like step one, what do I do? So like step one, point finger. <laughs> and here's the cool thing, it will let you Select how long you want that text to be shown by moving this slider down here. So then this one can be step two, pump fist. I forget what this is called, but we'll just say step three. I don't think this is voguing. No, voguing's like the box. I don't know what this is called. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, but I'll just say dancing. Or dance, rather. And then you move this to fit that section. <laughs> Step four, head side to side. Again, you would just move this. 
Step six, or wait, how about steps equal epic dance moves? <laughs> Which we all know is very nice. <laughs> Okay, so then you would push the little arrows on the right side. And what you wanna do is select where it says cover in the top left. And this will let you slide to select which part you want as your cover. Now you want it to be something that's going to grab people's attention. So I would select this. Otherwise on the bottom, you can select add from camera roll and you can actually create a cover like you could design a cover in Canva if you wanted to. Uh, now here's where you would uh, write your caption. And then I would recommend putting some hashtags, uh, like any, yeah, any hashtags that are relevant to the video you're making. And then I would recommend adding it to your feed, but if you don't want that, you can toggle this off. Now just touch anywhere on the screen and you will see that you can share this content. Now, I'm not gonna do that because this is not um, the content that I want. So I'm gonna save it as a draft. But again, I can show you this was kind of like the end result here. I don't know why it won't play the music, but so yeah. And you can go onto my, my Instagram's Molly M. Kaiser if you want to. So it's Molly with a Y, M as in Molly, <laughs> Molly M and then Kaiser, K-E-Y-S-E-R. You can go watch that video if you want. Now, I do want to say... I do want to end this video with it is really important that you create reels that are actually relevant to what your channel is about. So my channel is all about course creation, building your following and entrepreneurship, uh, online entrepreneurship in general. So uh, if you go and look at my feed, it's all very relevant to courses and online entrepreneurship and building a following. Um, and when you go to my reels, I'll kind of show you guys some of the topics I picked here. So the first one I talk about uh, my morning routine and how I do yoga and I simply just use my camera to fil uh, film a sped up video of me doing yoga set to music. Super easy Instagram reel to create. That was the first one I ever made. I actually made it on TikTok and I uploaded it into Instagram reels. Uh, the second one I did was showing the difference between what entrepreneurs think it's going to be like, which was a straight line to success, and what success is actually like, which was like this crazy squiggly line. Um, and that one was really, really popular. I got about 3,200 views on that. Uh, the third one was about uh, what your life looks like when you're just thinking about a course versus what your life look like, looks like after you create a course. And then uh, the fourth one was inviting people to a live workshop for co courses that I was hosting. So everything so far has been really relevant to entrepreneurship, courses, um, morning routine. And then I made one Instagram reel about my dog because I wanted to let people in a little bit into my personal life. And I mean, my dog's pretty adorable, but basically I'm just saying like, don't just do like all reels of your dog or all reels of your kids. Like it's okay to mix that in there for sure, because your audience wants to learn about you and your life. Uh, but it's really important that you figure out what your Instagram channel is about and have a theme and really stick to that. That way people, uh, the right people can find you. So, you know, my whole goal with my business is to get people into our course called Profitable Courses so that we can help them create and build uh, their own profitable their own profitable course and kickstart it profitably from day one so they can change their life and their students' lives in the process. Now, if I'm not doing content that's relevant to that, then I'm not going to attract the right people that will join my program, right? So I hope that makes sense. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in the next one.